Hello everyone, and welcome to some Napoleon Total War gameplay and commentary. Yes, Napoleon Total War. My god, it's been a long time. Or, the first time since I've actually played this game. Or, not the, I, since I've uploaded this game to YouTube, my bad. Um, I play this game a lot. This is like one of my favorite Total Wars here. Besides from Rome 2. I mean, from Rome Total War. Rome 2 is alright. It's not the best. But... Um, after its updates and stuff, it's gotten a lot better. So today I'm playing as Russia versus the British on the map Waterloo. Very interesting, because in Waterloo it was the British and French. But now it's reverse psychology. It's the, the Russians and British. And the Russians are the attacking force in this battle. Which is me and the my unit line up here. I have like, let me think, I have like four of lifeguard foot yeah for these guys and I have <clears throat> one two three four five I have five musketeers and one Moscow musketeers and I have three uh, Jaegers which are skirmish units and I have four cavalry uh, not including my journal I have two cav hidden here and I have two right here and then I have my journal right here so, let me fast forward, because at this point I was just waiting for my uh, opponent to play, which his name is Chase Nickel 77 And so, he is the, the British, which he has, a, his army is mainly consisted of a lot of infantry, but his cav force is what's really deadly. He has a lot of horse guards, so, and dragoons. I actually didn't know he had dragoons. So, his cav force is a deal to be reckoned with. You, you better watch out for these guys. So, that's his main body force, is his cavalry. While mine, I focus mainly on skirmishers and infantry, because uh, my cavalry units. Oh, I forgot to tell you, my cav units are uh, just hussars and lancers. Yeah, lancers. So they're they're not really that good. Uh, they do have the infantry bonus. Uh, no, they have the charge advantage, I believe. So as you see, I'm fast forwarding here. So I, I move up. I, I I have my army in two armies basically. One side um, with two of my lifeguards with a bunch of musketeers, and I have one side with two lifeguards with some musketeers. And this side they have two Jaegers, which these Jaegers, man, oh my God, they they are a force to be reckoned with. They will destroy on the battlefield, I tell you. <clears throat> they are really really good, and they're really helpful as well. And they're good, like just in general, like they're um, really good shots. I mean, they're skirmish units, so. What do you expect? So basically, what I do is I move up my skirmishers first, of course, to start taking off shots on his uh, foot. I mean, because foot, they're pretty damn good, just for the type of unit they are and how cheap they are. They're really, really good. They can hold their ground pretty much against a lot of things. So, you gotta watch out for them. <clears throat> and he has a lot of, oh yeah, foot guards. Foot guards and King's German Legion. Which is my favorite unit in the game. I love King's German Legion and Foot Guards too. My favorite, like I love, absolutely love playing as the uh, British. But anyways, in this, in this game, it's like, hey, let's play as the Russians because I felt like it. So I move up my Jaegers, start taking off shots at him while his army's all clumped up like this. So he fires back, of course. So I honestly uh, wasn't paying attention to these guys here. Or which unit was it? I think it was this one or this one. I wasn't paying attention and they get destroyed, <laughs> unfortunately. But they still do the work. So, he is um, splitting up his force like I am. So, now over here, this is what I was really scared of. I was scared of him actually coming around in this flank and just hammering my units. Because that cav, I can't defeat that cav with any of my horses. So, the only thing that can really destroy his cavalry is with my infantry. Oh yeah, this is the unit right here that gets kind of wiped out. They, they get too close. So my skirmishers are duking it out. And he starts, so right here I thought he was actually going to charge. So I get into um, a square formation here, which is an anti-cavalry square. Very effective, very effective indeed. So I get these guys in squares. Square formation. Uh, but what he was doing it was surprised me. He, like a lot of cav died due to this. He wasn't really charging. I don't know what he was doing. But a very, very bad idea. And so here I start moving up some cavalry. 
Which at first I sent him to do a full on attack, which then I, I eventually just pulled him back because I, I would have lost. I would have lost completely. So a lot of cavalry died right there. And so, due to my men being in square formation, he takes that advantage and starts firing at my guys in line of formation, which is devastating for me. So, this one unit of foot is just getting hammered by these Jaegers. It's funny. The whole game, I just pretty much target that unit with these Jaegers. It's crazy. So, these guys. Oh, he. Oh, yeah, right here. So, right here, he uh, commenced a cab charge. Forget all about that. And it was a bad idea mainly because I have infantry here, my lifeguard unit, which is my elite of the elite in my army. And then over here, another fight is about to pursue. And here you go, he sends up his lifeguards. And due to that, I send up my infantry. So he basically is doing a full on attack now on my, my army with this cab. So I, I managed to retreat his keen his uh, keen German leading dragoons. And his horse guards. Over here, he's pretty much doomed on this side. And over here, he still has a fighting chance. So my men are running. Which, what unit was that? Oh, yeah, that was my Lancers. So no big deal. No big deal at all. Which my, my Lancers, oh my gosh, they just, they just lose it. They go on a full-on retreat. So here, I uh, routed his cavalry, his dragoons and horse guards due to my infantry uh, superiority and my infantry just constantly firing at him which was uh, won me the day and I lose my Russian Jaegers, my Russian Jaegers, so that sucked and yeah, I have been uh, my, more of my uh, <laughs> oh my Jaegers, oh, I, I, I did not know he retreated them, that's weird, so he, he managed to get my Jaegers but they still did their job, so good job Jaegers so my the only cav left are these two cavalry units right here. And the only cav he has left is this one right here, I believe. Oh, right, and uh, over here I'm still fighting his horse guards here. So now he moves up. He, he starts to advance his infantry, which, in all honesty, they don't really stand a chance against my infantry because uh, mine are a lot better than his. So I do a little charge here, a little strike, and then I uh, see that I'm rounding them, so I, I follow them back, because I don't want to keep my horses in that fight for too long, or they'll die. So I am outnumbering him right now, he's outgunned, and his foot guards are just in disarray, man, that morale drop. So I send over my general unit, my general staff unit over here to boost morale of my men. continue so on, uh, pretty much on his left flank it's just completely ruined <laughs> on his right flank he's still kind of strong but due to losing his left flank I would just simply flank over here and he still has units back here actually he has a light foot and he has his general units so we are still do uh, oh yeah I have him in hidden right here and now I just finally beat his horse guards. So it took a long time, but I did it. So the fight commences. Very, very bloody battle. So I sent over some more cavalry charge, cavalry charges. And he's got some foot guards here, which are still alive and well. Which foot guards are very effective. And so, now the battle is all but lost for him. Because he just outgunned. And is re really outgunned. So, what I do here is something you should never do. <laughs> because I lost a lot of men because of this. So, what I do, I, I just got really cocky. And I just felt like doing a full-on bayonet charge because I was reminded of the Battle of Poltova for some reason. So I'm like, hey, full bayonet charge. So I got really cocky, did full bayonet charge on his foot and his Highland foot, which are very, very good in melee combat, which I did not know. 
So I do that, which you should never do that. Always use your guns. Unless you have no ammo, of course. So I then move up some more of my units to do a melee charge. So let's zoom in on this fight. This Highland man, they, they last. They stand their ground. <laughs> they stand their fucking ground. It's crazy. Oh, and his foot. Yeah, look at his foot. They're so strong. Very intense fight indeed. So I see that my men are starting to break, so I move up my general staff. And over here, I push up my infantry units to take out the rest of his infantry. Back to the melee fight, I route his Highlanders, and his foot soon goes in the hips. Very intense battle. And then the battle is finally all but lost for him. <clears throat> so then I um, move up these guys. <laughs> like fucking point blank range right here. Very brutal. So my cab proves to be very effective. Very effective. <clears throat> Definitely really effective against infantry, of course. So this is the last of his units here. His King's German Legion. And his Lightfoot. Which retreat. Unfortunately for him. So I run out of ammunition. But soon after that, he retreats. So, good game my opponent, which his name was, uh, showing a minute here, I think, yep. Chase Nickel, 77, and good game to him. And so, I see I, I outnumbered him greatly, but that was due to the fact that he brought a lot of cavalry, so I, I had him outgunned in that point. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you want more, let me know. Or if you don't want more of Total War, let me know. But anyways, good game my opponent, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.